Um, I accidentally turned this off while getting set up here. These are these two boxes that mysteriously appeared on my porch this morning, and I've been waiting all day for the pleasure of opening them. They came from Texas. There it took me a while to remember or to figure out what was in here. And these are some dolls that someone contacted me about adopting. And this is something I just love to do. People keep their dolls, then they need somewhere to go. Oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh, look! Look! Little Bo Peep Alexander doll. Hmm. They need cleaning, and that's what I do. Here's another. Oh my! An Alexander with little breasts. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! A little. Isn't she beautiful? Oh. Clothing to go with her. So, oh, and this looks. Oh. And I can clean these and restore them very well. This is just some extra glue here on her face that came down. Is this also an Alexander? Oh! Look at these shoes! And the hat! Ah! <gasps> And this is a much taller one. Oh, these shoes. Oh. Hope you can see them. I have the camera thing where I can see turned away from me. Looks like a hat box with a fancy stole and a belt and a muff, perhaps. Oh, no, this is for the large alley. This is a muff. I think this is something that the woman's mother may have made. She said that she did. And this is a hat. This is for the larger. This is for the larger Alexander dolls here. I hope I'm not just talking into a camera that's picturing the side of the box. I'm going to push this box out. Whoop, maybe you can see down in here better. Oh, my. Oh, look at this handsome little guy. These, uh, 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 a pink felt poodle skirt. Instead of a poodle, it has a gingerbread boy or a person. This is for a uh, 16 to 18 inch Alexander. Oh my goodness. Oh. And here are some. Possibly some boy shoes. I think so. Let me take a look at what I've got here. Mm. Okay. Whoops. This is a bag full 
of clothes that may have been in here for some time. This is a Safeway bag. Mm -hmm. Look at these sunglasses. Okay, so this is all 16 and 18 inch. Oh my goodness, it's great things from like 1954 to 57, circle skirts were pretty popular about 1955, 56, look at this, all lined and a red slip, hmm, there's a whole box here too, oh my, oh, Look at this. Hmm. Oh, what a beautiful little dress. I'm looking at this all myself and not sharing. I just... Can do another kind of a flip through when I'm behind the camera. I don't like the selfie shots that everything's backwards on. Here's a, oh, a wonderful little nylon quilted robe and a lovely strapless bra. And a beautiful red coat lined in white satin. And a long slip, such as one might wear under a bridal gown. And oh, Toreador pants! Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I've gotten the pictures in here. I might have to use the soundtrack and make a visual to go with it. I just wanted to be able to record my initial reaction to these wonderful, wonderful things. Look at these shoes. I'll take still photographs of these and then strip them together into a camera. Let go with our red and black. And again, these are for our larger, I think, 18 inch Madame Alexander Sissy. This little one here, this uh, that, that was larger, doesn't really look like this, is more like the Wendy can face, but this could be an earlier Sissette. This looks like a 14 inch doll and the sissettes are I think 10 inches at least the modern ones well I do wash these clothes really well I call myself a French laundry Get this beautiful Bo Peep hat how very very fine Swiss straw is. All right. Now pretty fabulous sunglasses. Pretty fabulous. Okay. So 
Did we? I didn't pull all of this out. Maybe this slip goes with this dress. No, this is a little 90. This is a, called a Penoir set. P E I G N. O I R and one set. This is something from the nineteen about nineteen fifty seven also fifty six that people wore. I mean, yeah. We had penoir sets. Even very young girls. We had them for our dolls. This must be this is a clown suit, but it could be PJs. Look at this shirt with a nap with a hanky in the pocket. Oh, some very stylish pants. Check these pockets. Standing out square pockets, and these are probably calf length. Very, very chic. Very chic, my dear. Very chic. And a regular blouse for a girly girl or a nice lady. Oh, oh. This could be for a younger doll. No, this is mm. This is a sundress, a very short sundress. It could be for more of a baby doll, but again, it could be a skirt with suspenders. Ah, that goes with this blouse. Yes. So it's a sort of a Germanic look. And that's why we have the puffy sleeves and the lace in the front. There we go. There. I have to make stop making funny noises with my voice. And... Here, okay, it's Gingerbread Man on a beautiful pink felt circle skirt. Yes, ma'am. You make a circle skirt by cutting two half circles when full yardage for a kid. Or, oh, so this be like 36 inches in your full yardage half circles. And if you want to make it really, really swirly, you cut two circles and you put them together. But, yes. We had gray felt circle skirts with pink poodles and pink circle skirts with gray poodles or black poodles. And I still love charcoal gray and pink. Okay, now this little lady we didn't take out because she's in pieces. Oh, what a cute hat. I love these elfish hats which I dated about 1939. Yep. What a darling hat. Hmm? What a darling little hat. Okay, this is for the... I guess these are all hers. Her eyes open and close. I've got to get a hold of where to hook the rubber band on, but we're good. And yeah, these are her clothes too. These look like someone sewed them. These might be the ones her mom made. Little, yeah, a little sailor collar. That's some fancy sewing to get that put together. Those corners and rounds. All right. 
So that is the mighty contents of this box. And everything is, as I knew it would be, heartbreakingly beautiful. <laughs> Heart achingly beautiful? I don't know. Let's get, okay, let's get you with your bag. Okay, we can put you back in there together. And then here, okay, I did not open up everything in here. This little lady, okay. High heels, this, okay, if she's 10 inches tall and she might be, this would be a Suzette doll, an older one. And she has little breasts and she wears high heels. And I happen to love the little Suzette dolls. They have incredibly beautiful clothing. Um, case in point, can you see that these are little golden sandals, strappy sandals? Here's a bra. Oh, this stuff is just so beautiful and so small. What I want to do is go through it and lay it out on my chair with my camera over. I have a stick for the camera, but I still really don't have a comfortable way to set it up. Um, I can't really see what I'm getting on film here. All right, all of this is going to go here. Beautiful hazel eyes you have, my dear. Okay. And then we're going to bring this into here. I think I'll take a look. Make sure I'm out pretty well. Okay. opens and there we go now I think this is probably gonna open up flat okay is that in a good place yeah oh my and we have oh yes this is some um, Dear Wright's uh, book, The Lonely Doll. And that was a Steiff, I think. It was a German uh, felt doll. Very famous, famous book. There's that. And, oh. This one is a jointed doll. Oh, look at her pretty little face. She's got some beautiful accessories in here. And again, these are so tiny that I would rather do this when I'm behind the camera and can see the screen. Here's a She's got swim fins in addition to her original Alexander shoes. So I'm really thrilled when people find me and say, I have a doll I've had since I was a kid and it needs some, needs some rubber bands and it needs some cleaning and everything. I don't know if that takes rubber bands down in there. I think that's on a spring. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, there'll be a rubber band that goes here across her body to the other leg. A special size. 
Mm. Look, at she's even got her matching rayon knit socks with her shoes. So I just love it when people say, I've got this doll that I've had for a long time. This looks like it's a brownie outfit. It's a brownie outfit. I was a brownie and I was a Girl Scout and the Girl Scouts was one of the rocks of my life, it turned out. It's a wonderful thing to do and to have done and to have be a part of you. Okay. Now it's that windy can face. They just have the sweetest little face. And I'll wash them up. A lot of this is just um, um, age on the plastic changes because they're pinkish usually. But still, I can wash them carefully. I'm not going to wash their hair because their hair has never been combed. So there's nothing to do with it. And it shouldn't be. She, this lady took beautiful care of her dolls. I took beautiful care of oh, mine too and didn't take their hairdos apart. This is a funny little face. I don't know this one. Oh, she's got little, a little waist. Since she's so cute. Um, here. Is the book Edith the Lonely Doll. It's very famous. The woman who owned her. Then these teddy bears too were from the same German company. Fun story of her. Yeah. So this dress is this one there with Edith. And then here is with the Edith's shoes. See, these hooks will just have rubber bands or elastic go across the body. Sometimes they make a Y shape. Yeah. Anyway, my dear, right? So this must be their, yeah, their version of Edith. Yeah, with the earrings. Oh, the green eyes. The ponytail. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. And she has a TNT waist, twist and turn. So she's possible. There we go. Where are your legs, dear? So. Yeah, so this is, oh, okay, this is a more like a child doll, too. So this is, a, I think, an 18-inch doll. And this is Edith the Lonely Doll. More like a child doll, because that's what that was. But she had adult adventures. And here we have a sissy doll, a Madame Alexander sissy, which is, I, you know what? I think maybe she's a 24-inch doll. Isn't she beautiful? Her legs bend. Notice she has nylons. 